I'll be starting off today's DIY project with Dollar Tree foam boards. I'll be using six Dollar Tree foam boards for this project because I'll be making a headboard and I'll be putting all the boards together with a transparent tape. Now you can use any other duct tape that you have, but I had just this one, so that's what I'm gonna be using to add all the boards together. I'm gonna be starting with three boards to make it easier for me to join the other three boards together to make it six whole boards for a DIY headboard. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. What I'll be using for this DIY headboard will be Dollar Tree charger plates. I usually would see this design particularly during the fall season. So I'll be starting off with this design and I'll be using just hot glue to attach the plates to the boards. To make sure that I have the spacing equal, I'm going to be counting the squares. One, two, three, and then I glue it down. Now I'm gonna go ahead to use silver charger plates to finish up the headboard. Now you can continue using the other design, but I just feel it's good to have a big contrast on the wall using different designs. So I'm gonna be using the silver charger plates at the bottom. I will cut some of the trays in half to cover up these open spaces. And I used a jigsaw to cut the trays into two and then used a hot glue gun to attach them to the board. What I'm gonna do now is cut off the excess foam board that's at the top. I'm removing the excess foam board that's at the top and not the one at the bottom. I'm leaving the one at the bottom because I would want to create some sort of distance between the bottom of the headboard to where the bed begins. I'll be adding a piece of wood to go across at the back of this headboard to make it easy for me to have this mounted on a wall. I had to use a trick to lift this up by placing it this way first and then turning it over and then carefully placing it on the floor. I used my drill gun to make sure I drill up holes from the wood through the plates to make sure that the wood is attached to the plates as well. I turned the headboard over again to make sure that I have screws attached from the front to make sure that it's properly secured. I would like to draw your attention to one thing that I noticed when I was lifting up my headboard. Some of the plates were trying to come off, so I'll recommend using a strong adhesive to attach the plates to the board. Because I was doing this by myself, I lifted it up from the bottom before mounting it on nails that I had put on the wall to hold the headboard. 
I left sufficient space so that the pillows don't touch the bottom of the plates. I'll be adding a gold tape to my design and you can also use washi tape. Now I'm doing this because I have some gold details around the wall. So I just want to add a little bit of gold to complement the other gold that I have going on on the wall as well. I'll be adding silver tape to the plates at the top to make it look like the design is flowing from the top going down to the silver plates that are at the bottom. When I was done, I realized that the silver plates that are at the bottom look nice, but something else could be added to them to make them look much better. So what I thought about was to use placemats. And I have used this for another project to actually save me from a design dilemma. And it worked. Now, here's a little clip of what I used the placemat for. I made a bench out of crates and then used the placemats to decorate the front of the bench. The link for the full tutorial video is going to be down in the description box below. You can clearly see the contrast between the black and the silver trays, so I'll be using the placemat and cutting it just the size and covering up the trays to make it a little bit darker that way it would just match a bit with the other darker trays that are at the top I used hot glue to attach the cutout pieces to the tray. The addition of the placemats to the trays made the silver trays look much more better. I can clearly see the difference in the before and after when the placemats have been added and when they were not on the trays. The placemats have added a little bit of character to the trays and I absolutely love the final result. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch in this DIY video. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.